just a haha. -ha. Gonna find that final hidden ghost on this fucking tower. It's down. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I love it. It's, it's funny. I have a sparrow before I at, at the lowest at the lowest possible level. I know when <laughs> I when I made my second two characters, they both got like the hot rod yeah. sparrow, like point blank. Yeah, that's what I just got for my. Now I'm just walking over to this ship, ship right, even though I have a better ship. I'm just gonna keep the first ship, just cause it's the first ship. Yeah, I don't have enough room to, I don't have to worry about it, it's not like I'm out of room, so. Yeah, you don't get ships a lot. Okay. Uh, is, is my guy still invisible? I don't even know where you are. Right behind you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of people here, they're just all invisible for you then. Just you. <laughs> And maybe next, maybe next tower, I'll be visible and then you can see my face. You should be able to take your helmet off in your pause screen, that'd be cool too. You should just be able to like, unless you're in a crucible or planet or raid, like if you're in orbit in your ship, you're on the tower, you should be able to take it on or off. Like when I inspect you here in orbit, I should be able to like, you know, see you with or without your helmet, depending on what you want. A lonely level, <coughs> little human, all wearing it looks, white. It looks, it looks so weird to see no, to see no planet here except for Earth. Come, Padawan, let us go. That does OP. See, a lot of people will be like, I don't want to OP. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it on three. More XP for me. I might have to use my palm attack only. <laughs> <laughs> But it's true though, like some people really don't like to do this game because of like, they wouldn't want to do this. They wouldn't bring a level 20 plus character back and help you because there's nothing for them. Me, I love the OP. Like the OP is the yes, best part. Yeah, I do too. You only Which get a few, yeah, you only get it so many times. There's only going to be three characters. I'm only going to help each person up to three times do this. And I can't say no since I've had so many people help me with my characters. It's like I, I mean, I remember I, I think when I first hopped into your stream, I asked, I asked if you would help me finish the game, and you did. I think. Well, to that a point. Like I mean, I, there, there was some yeah. times at the beginning where I was like, "Ooh, not right today or right now," but you know, like I said, here we are. You know, we're all, we're all doing it for each other. I've had you've helped me with both my Titan and my Warlock. Sigma has, Pro yeah. has, you know. <clears throat> Can't really remember every little who helped me here with what. Yeah, I can't, can't, can't wait for Sigma to come back. Cannot summon vehicle. Oh wow, this is like the first first. <laughs> exactly. I just I finished the first mi I finished this little tutorial thingy. Uh, fine, I'll click select. That way you'll stop popping up on my screen. God, it's so weird seeing an EXP bar too. I know. Or when he goes firing, you level up. Well, don't worry, little Padwan, whether you choose the way of the Sith or the Light. <laughs> yeah, I, if I remember correctly, Game Man uh, put the, the push with the Warlock was with the Sunsinger. Yeah. That's actually the class I'm doing right now. Oh, that's right. You can actually, character. yeah. If you got one character, once you past get one 15, character fifteen, yeah, and the, yeah. So that way I can work on my Sun Singer because I've always, I've seen you. I, I just Sun Singer seems more interesting to me though. Well, like I said, it's special is self resurrect. Oh my God, weapons I can use. But also, uh, you know, a lot of people just like to be assholes with the, the push. <laughs> Damn. Me. I mean, a lot of people really that they don't even want it because of the resurrect. They just want to be able to push people off it. I, <laughs> I just want to send. I just want to send enemies flying with it. You want it. bullshit? You're gonna be doing what you do in every game. You're gonna be fucking with people and laughing your ass off, and they're gonna be yelling, "Stop it!" <laughs> Are you kidding? 
Not mo not all the time. <laughs> Here, I'll not to you. Only most of them. <laughs> <laughs> not to you. <laughs> Everyone out. Just like yesterday, I was doing it for Dragon Pro. <laughs> and, and I ended up accidentally killing you. I only hope it's where we found our ship. But you have to go back. I want my spare already. I know. We can take this way. There's all kinds of hidden shit down here. It'll just bring us up over at the other doorway. Hi, aren't there the level 20 thingies down here, too? I don't know. What level are they to you? Question marks. I remember this from the beta. I was that was the max level, and I was level eight. I mean, I wish they didn't get rid of your characters because I actually had some stuff I like. Yeah, but you know, there's there's a stigma I have to admit that comes when you're an alpha and beta tester. You know, if you've watched Sword Art Online, you kind of see the the whole yeah. beer. But it's true. Like yeah. you, you get tired of hearing people like, in the beta we did this. In the beta, we did that. Well, I knew this. You know, it's like, you know, my friend Kai has been doing the House of the Wolves Alpha. And, you know, he's he's under a non-disclosure agreement, so I'm not going to get a lot of intel. But uh, what he can like, tell me... Told. Yeah, it's all uh -huh. went out the window and scratched, you know? Like, there's... You know, they've, yeah. they've, they've... You know, the raid was done. The whole DLC was completely done. And they literally said, well, you know, certain aspects of it we don't have to scratch. You're leading the way, you're fired him, so. Just, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, once we're out here on the surface, I was just, uh. Going out I want my jump! But, yeah, that's, uh. That's the hardest part about, like, taking a level 30 and starting a new skill tree, like with me. But, you know, uh, every level 32 out there is gonna be at a skill tree Mach 1 when they get the third subclass. So it'll be funny. See all these level 32s without a grenade or a double jump? Oh, that's where my grenade is. Okay. I threw my grenade just to see what the hell it was. Where are we going? Oh, okay. You can just hop up over the edge, I can't. That's why I have Oh, to I just take the stairs, stairs usually. Ooh, going chest. Nice. Scanning for the warp drive. Oh my god, you got, got new gloves. It's already in full of hands. I see young Padawan, when you play with the warlock, you need something. I think I'll let you kill him. I'll help, but. No, it's all good. Just you can sit back up on him. I got my special all queued up this one. Yeah, I'm only doing one damage to him. I can take care of the little guy. Shock to the face, bitches. Oh, green engram. Yeah, that's funny. It's encrypted right now. <laughs> when you don't, when once you're level twenty, I believe you don't see encrypted anymore. It's just, it's just. It's Boom! Just, Somebody it's leveled up. You just killed an archon, and we got a warp drive. Yeah, yeah, I just got my glide. Nice. Yeah, I mean it'd be cool if you're playing the void one, but like I said, the, the trick is diversity. If you got three warlocks all playing Sunsinger, you're kind of stupid. If you're if you got three titans yeah, all playing I mean, Defender, you're pretty stupid. Um, but you there's at least one striker. Yeah, but here's the thing, like you know, when you and me play Titans, it's perfect because I don't even touch my striker since I hit. Yeah, know. I haven't even touched the Voidwalker. I w I only touched my striker until I hit level 15 because I didn't know you could do that, so I was waiting till I was 15. Oh. <laughs> but it's okay because it got the jump, it got my grenade unlocked, so it got a little bit done. Whereas here on my Warlock, I don't even I'm not even interested in my Sunsinger. I probably won't even start that skill tree until the House of the Wolves are out, and I'll. I'll probably start the third skill tree instead just because I, I have a feeling it's gonna be arc and i really see there's gonna be like 
some sort of chain lightning totally sift out my character even more. <laughs> I feel like I should I should probably put it on my blacksmith because that's like black, silver, and gold. That totally looks like sift. I'll put that straight on. I I, I want to see I want to see it on. It's a it badass it one, but it, people. The only reason I got it was, of course, I wasted five bucks for it. Now that five bucks can be floated to any game order I want down the road because I basically just keep five bucks on my account for things like that at GameStop. Ah. Uh, Go so in. They gave you a refund back. No, they don't have to. They can just move it straight over. I'm a platinum GameStop account. I have the cards. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're platinum or not because if you want to pre-order, you have to open an account. And once you pre-order, yeah. open your account. If you never, if you never picked up a pre-order, you put five dollars down on. There was a turn. Then that five dollars. Oh, I, I put a full, I put a full eighty-seven dollars down for the collection edition Mass Effect Three. <laughs> yeah, and if you didn't pick it up, then you're, you know. Yeah, I, I picked it up. Uh, well, yeah, that doesn't matter. I'm just saying, if you only put five bucks down, and you don't pick up your pre-order, like I never picked up Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but I didn't put five bucks down on it. I had five bucks down from like. Um, GTA, and what happens when I went in to get GTA, I just paid it off in full, and then put another five dollars on my account. So there's always five dollars there, and I just went in and said, "Yeah, go ahead and give me Call of Duty." They gave me the code for the blacksmith trader, and then I never went back. And and in the five dollars, I can go back in. They're like, "Oh, you still have a copy reserved?" I'm like, "Nah, move that over to this game," and they'll do that. And um, you know, or I can put that five dollars toward. Uh, DLC. Don't forget, if you're if you only have like a dollar ninety nine in your pocket, you can actually buy like a dollar ninety nine worth of DLC directly from GameStop. They'll just give you the code for like a Minecraft skin. Or let's say you have five bucks and you want Hearthfire for Skyrim. You can do what I did was I bought all three DLCs in cash from GameStop and then just put the code in and downloaded them when I got home. So you don't, nice. you don't need to have a credit card in your PlayStation store, and you don't have to buy PlayStation card accounts. If you go and trade a game in, let's say I want to trade in uh, the piece of shit Dark Souls 2. You know, let's say it's, it's like 10 cash, 15 trade-in. I could just put it in trade-in, and, oh, $15 isn't enough to buy a PlayStation card. But it's enough to buy, let's say, this $9.99 DLC, and then put $5 on my GameStop account. You know, kind of thing. So you can... Really, anything you can buy on the PlayStation Store, you can digital copy, whether it's DLC or skins or texture packs, you can buy them with cash at GameStop. So you can go to the register if you have a dollar ninety-nine in quarters, two dollars in cash, and say, "Can you give me the Minecraft or the Mass Effect uh, avatars for Minecraft, dollar ninety-nine, and just buy them." And then go home and you type in the code and you download it and it's good to go. I'm just saying for people that don't have credit cards, debit cards, and for some reason their trade-in isn't quite enough to give them an even PlayStation card, then, you know. Or, hey, yeah, you, can ten, usually, you can usually buy the digital code from GameStop. Yeah, let's say, let's say just for some random you have enough trade-ins that you have uh, $20 in cash and $50 trade-in. I know it would never work that way. But let's say it does. But let's say you you want to buy something. Well, you can take the fifty dollars. Well, it cut out for me. Well, I was gonna say let's say you uh, let's say you. Oh, let me put on the blacksmith trader. Let's say you want. What's cool is the blacksmith is an order. So oh nice. So it's uh, it's an, a special order one, which means I can go pick it up at the postmaster. Special I'm order. With you. Nice. I like it on, on this one. It's all black and gold and yeah. white. Yeah, oh, Glo nice. Glow who's nice, but it's it's not my favorite. It's not the top of the favorite. It's just so oh, rare. Oh, you have the Void Fang vestment. Yeah. I have an exotic <laughs> chest, and I got that from an engram from Zer Twenty Three Motes of Light. And then I got the I have a I have helmet. a flaming um class item from when I'm level twenty. Nice. That's what it's all about. Yeah, it's a, it's the <laughs> class item Red Eternal. It has flames on it. I mean, I have to admit, my well, Titan got better gear before I made her than my Warlock. My Warlock had a full set of blue and purple and, and gold, so, you know, it was enough. But it's also nice to kind of have something to look forward to finding. You know, you're like, I need this. It gives me purpose. I need better. I need a legendary helmet. Which will it be? Will I find one in the Crucible? Will I get one from an Engram? Will I unlock a raid one? What will it be? Some people are like, all I want is Crota raid gear. 
That's all I want because I want, I don't, it doesn't matter that the skill tree doesn't work.